Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna be taking you through my perfume collection. Disclaimer, no one in their right mind needs this many perfumes. Like I've got an excessive amount of perfumes. I've got probably about 20. I'm gonna quickly zip through them all. I'm gonna try to and try and make this video not half an hour long. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. Um, so I keep some of my perfumes behind me. You can just see in this little tray with string lights around it. But the majority of my perfumes are kept in here. So yeah, as you can see, I've got quite a lot. Also, another disclaimer, I'm really, really, really bad at describing scents. So I don't know why I'm doing this video really, but <laughs> I just wanted to show you all my perfume collection, tell you which ones that I love, which ones I don't love so much. Because I'm one of those people that will wear perfume every day, even if I don't leave the house, I'll still put perfume on. It just makes me feel complete. I'm gonna start with this one. It is one by Rihanna. She's got three that are in really similar bottles, but the band is a different color. And this one is the, I'm pretty sure it's called the Rebel Fleur. This is a really nice perfume for summertime. It's got top notes of peach, plum and red berries, which you can definitely smell. To be honest, when I smell this perfume, all I smell is coconut. Like it smells really summery, really coconutty, kind of like sun cream. Let me spray a little bit. Yeah, it smells so good. I love it, it's one of my favourite perfumes for summer. Next one, I only bought because Kathleen Lights spoke about it in her perfume collection video and she made me really want to buy it so I bought it it was about about 12 pound I think I think I got it from allbeauty.com it's aquilina pink sugar and it literally smells like sugar just pure sugar I wore it last night actually um for Valentine's Day even though I didn't do anything for Valentine's Day I just went for some food with my friends but I got in the car and my friend said you smell like biscuits <laughs> and I was like what and she yeah you smell like chocolate biscuits and it, it smells like sugary biscuit but whenever I wear this I tend to get compliments I don't know I don't know I have to be really in the mood for it because it's really really sweet uh, next one I'm just grabbing random ones this one is by Juicy Couture and I'm pretty sure Oh, I don't know what this one's called. How pretty is the bottle? It's probably my favourite perfume bottle out of all the perfumes that I own. The smell... Like, it's okay. I only ever wear this perfume to, like, the gym or to work. It's really fresh. Kind of citrusy, I guess but not overly because I love the smell of citrus. So if, the, if this was more orangey, I'd probably like it a lot more. Mm, I've had this one for so long and I've still got quite a lot left. So that shows how much I use it. It's okay. Next is one again that I've lost the lid for. And this one had a really cute lid. It was like a little cute gold ball. <laughs> but um, my sister actually stole this one from me and used it all. And then I got it back when it was this empty. <laughs> I do not know how to pronounce this, okay. Signorina Eleganza Salvatore Ferragamo. And... Oh, ignore my horrible fake tan. Yeah, it's just really, really basic. <laughs> I wouldn't repurchase it again. It, like, it doesn't blow me away. Like, it's okay for a work perfume. I'll talk about this one next, it's one of my favourites. Um, it's the Roberto Cavalli, I'm pretty sure it's just the Roberto Cavalli by Revert. Da -da 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 -da. Roberto Cavalli by Revert. I'm just going to write it on the screen. It's one of my favourite perfumes. It's summer in a bottle. That is the only way I can describe it. And it's kind of sexy. Can a perfume be sexy? Like it smells really warm and it just reminds me of like being on holiday in the evening when the sun's setting and you've got a glass of sangria and it's still warm but there's like a little breeze and you're smelling of coconuts. 
definitely gonna repurchase this when, when I run out. Next, another really pretty bottle. One of my favorite bottles, it's Burberry Body. I'm really on the fence with this one. Like it's one of those that I really, really have to be in the mood for or I don't like it. But when I am in the mood for it, it's the only perfume that I've got like this. Like it's really mature, I guess. Like it reminds me of like what you'd wear for a job interview. Like it's really musky, really rosy. I think that's why I have to be in the mood for it because I'm not really a rose scent lover, but, but it smells really feminine and uh, I really don't know. Do I just keep it for the bottle? I don't know. <laughs> Next, this one is pretty much empty. I am just keeping it for the sake of this video and because I really like the bottle and to remind me to repurchase another one because I've got so many that it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Like I just forget, like I would forget how nice this was if I didn't see the bottle every day. I got this as a Valentine's Day present and I just, I love it. Like it's really sweet really girly but not too sweet not like the pink sugar like it's more of a mature sweet the only downside is it's so expensive like it's one of the most expensive perfumes that i own and it doesn't last very long on the skin which is what puts me off like replacing it and it really frustrates me that i don't know whether it's just mine or whether it's all of them but my lid isn't secure at all so the bow like spins around oh, that shouldn't annoy me but it does <laughs> I haven't even told you what it's called. It is the Misty Art Eau de Parfum. I'm literally gonna throw my dog. I'm not even kidding. Next, um, I've got this one, which is the Victor and Rolf Bonbon perfume. How cute is the bottle? It's so cute. And it, it literally smells like caramel. Just straight up caramel. But like in the best kind of way like I, I want to smell like caramel every day it smells so good I've not got much left of this one either you probably can't tell because of the bottle but it's like a tiny little bit in the corner but yeah this one again is one that's really 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 expensive but I don't find that it lasts very long on my skin it might just be my skin that's not kind of mixing well with these perfumes but one of the things I look for in a perfume is staying power so I love the smell but maybe I'm just not putting enough on. This has lasted me a really long time. Maybe I need to put more on to make it last longer, but so expensive. It doesn't last that long on my skin, so I probably won't repurchase this when I run out. It's a shame, because I do love it so much. It's one of my favorite smells, actually. And we'll talk about this one next. It is probably one of the most inexpensive perfumes that I own, and it's Fancy by Jessica Simpson. And I never thought that I'd like one of her perfumes. I don't know why, stereotypical celebrity releasing a perfume and you just expect it to smell really generic and bit shit. But it actually smells really, really nice. It's sweet and caramelly, but really fresh at the same time. Like, I remember I wore this for work once and a lady that I work with said that I smelled really clean and fresh and like I like was just fresh out the shower and smelt really girly and I always remember that and that is what I think of when I smell it now it makes me feel really clean and girly <laughs> probably would repurchase this I think it was only about 15 pound and it's a huge bottle it's lasted me so long check it out <sighs> I've got so many more to go through <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this one just to get it out of the way it is one from Primark it's called PS Love Noir and I love it so much. I wear this for work all the time. It's the one that stays in my handbag because it's only like four pound. But I wore this for work literally last week and a lady that I work with was like, you smell so nice. Why do you always smell so nice? <laughs> and I was like, really? It's just a Primark one. Like it's the one I keep in my bag. And um, she didn't believe me and I got it out for her to have a smell of. And she was like, please, can I wear some? It's really, really fruity and warm more of a winter smell i'd say not that there's any rules but it's really deep and sexy that's how i'd describe it but really fruity at the same time like perfect for anyone that's like 16 or someone that's 40 like anyone could wear this and it lasts forever on me like i'll spray it in the morning and then i'll like put my scarf on or whatever and i'll get a huge whiff of it like it stays until like the next day <laughs> next i'll talk about this one it is estee lauder bronze goddess basically 
I have a thing where when I'm going on holiday somewhere, I like to take an extra £50 or so just to buy a perfume at the airport before I leave the country in the duty free. Oh. Every time I smell this, it breaks my heart. So I was headed to Spain and I bought this because what I'll do is I'll buy the perfume and then that's the only perfume I'll wear for the whole time that I'm there. And then whenever I smell it afterwards, it'll remind me of that place and the memories and... Perfumes can bring back... What is wrong with me? So yeah, basically this one really reminds me of Spain and I haven't worn it since that summer. <laughs> they do release these like every summer in like a limited edition packaging. So I'll never be able to get it in this bottle again, I don't think. So to be honest, I try not to use this because I do just want to keep hold of it just for my own, <laughs> my own sake. The actual smell is amazing and if I could smell like this 24 7 without getting sad then I would. <laughs> Next this one again is one that's pretty much empty. I've been through about three bottles of this. It's one of my favourites. It is Richie Richie by Nina Richie. It's so... <sighs> this is probably like one of my most Marmite scents. Like I feel like everyone wouldn't love this but I really do. <laughs> like it's sweet and fruity but but not sweet at the same time like I, I read somewhere that the top note in this is rhubarb and like that's really random like I wouldn't think that I would enjoy a perfume that smells like rhubarb but it does and I love it it's my everyday perfume for winter it's really deep and describe it another one that's kind of sexy I guess but not too deep that like you can't wear it all day I really like it this one I got for Christmas from my secret Santa at work it is one by Samantha Fairs and it's called La Bella everyone's probably smelt this before I'd smelt this years and years ago I just assumed that it would be again another shit celebrity perfume standard smell Britney Spears type thing but when I smelt it I was really pleasantly surprised like it's really vanillary and warm but not sickly does that make sense it's just really vanillary that's the only way i describe it if you were to get like a vanilla scent from like the body shop or something it'd probably smell very similar to this really nice just for every day just spray all over your clothes to make you feel really fresh and really inexpensive i wear it for work a lot yeah it's really good i've got two gucci ones no yeah i have two gucci ones first one is gucci bamboo and i got this for christmas one or two years ago this one is one again that i have to be really in the mood for and the initial spray of it kind of puts me off like when you first spray it on yourself it's really really strong and smells a little bit alcoholy but once it's settled into my skin so like half an hour later or so it smells really nice and really fresh and citrusy and kind of green like this is probably the cleanest smelling perfume i've got it kind of smells like soap but in the best way <laughs> but again this is one that doesn't last that long on my skin so four hours later or so i will have to respray some but the bottle's really cute like i'm a big fan of the packaging not really anything else to say about this i guess the next gucci one is probably my second oh yeah yeah i'm gonna say it's my second favorite perfume that i own Ugh, it smells so good probably would be first if it lasted longer on my skin it doesn't last very long and that's the only thing that puts me off about it but the smell is amazing i think it's just called gucci 2 i'm pretty sure that's the name but it's really hard to get a hold of now like i don't even think you can get it on the gucci website i think you have to get it from like department stores online it's so good it smells like black currant and wood <laughs> i'm really not selling it it smells really let me spray some it's really warm really fruity you're catching like a drift of my kind of 
perfumes I like warm fruity perfumes but it smells really woodsy and kind of manly but like in a really nice way but I don't think a man would really want to smell like black currants and fruit well they might do if they if you do then give this one a smell again the only other thing I hate this is why this one's not on display on my little tray is because I hate the bottle like who designed this it's so ugly and it's so heavy like this the lid of it pure glass like I just don't get it <laughs> I just don't get it it doesn't match the smell it doesn't do anything for me so it hides in a drawer and probably will repurchase this when it runs out just because I love it so much if I can get a hold of it the last one that I've got in the drawer again is one that I have the tiniest little bit left in the corner um, this is one of my top fives it's the YSL black opium I feel like everyone and their dog has smelt this and you know what it smells like and it's probably what 99% of girls on nights out smell like when they walk past and you get a whiff of something really sweet it's probably this <laughs> it's so nice it's really 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 sweet like really sweet but one of the notes is coffee I'm pretty sure and it gives it kind of like that deeper base like, like almost like a burnt vanilla I guess oh it's so nice it's so nice and it lasts forever on the skin like it's one that I'll wear for a night out because it will last the whole night and I won't have to take my bottle with me another expensive one but worth it so worth it okay so that's the basket empty I'm gonna reach behind and talk about these one by one um this is just the first one I grabbed it's one that I spoke about in my yearly favorites from last year um it is the Dolce & Gabbana number three Lion Patrice <laughs> Oh, I never know how to say this. Lion Potrice. It is so good. It's so good. It smells like sweeties and it's again one that I bought in an airport to travel with when I went to Lanzarote and just reminds me of that. It's so weird how perfume can bring back literally like such vivid memories for me. Specific little things like smelling this literally makes me picture like the pattern on a wooden staircase like I d I like it's just bizarre like I don't get it but there's something in my head that is triggered by scents and maybe that's why I love perfume so much but this one reminds me of Lanzarote and it makes me feel warm and happy on the inside <laughs> it goes on offer quite a lot too so it's usually about 40 45 pound but a lot of the time it's on offer for about 25 pounds so you can't really go wrong next there's Daisy by Marc Jacobs this is one that I've just repurchased for myself because I had a bottle but I ran out and I wanted to treat myself because it is one of my favorite perfumes and I don't even have to talk about what this smells like because you all know what it smells like because I'm guessing a high percentage of you will probably own this already or will have owned it at some point oh did you hear that snot <laughs> It's really sweet. It reminds me of Palma Violets and that's why I like it. It literally smells like Palma Violets and they're my favourite sweet. So why would I not want to smell like my favourite sweet? I'm going to go for this one. Yeah. Um, it is Chanel Chance Eau Fresh. I think that's how you say it. It's the green one and I've literally got the tiniest little bit left of this one. I'm trying to save it for summer because it smells like summer. It smells like... Smell, smells kind of like a man <laughs> but in a really good way it smells like when you're little and you're in the garden and you've got your paddling pool up so there's the smell of kind of like the fresh water and the bubbles and then the smell of grass and flowers like when I smell this that's what I picture in my head like um scene of my childhood like water and grass and summer and birds chirping <laughs> I have a weird weird imagination really really nice if you're ever in like a debenhams and there's a chanel counter all of the chances are worth the smell i like the eau fresh and the eau vive they're my two favorites and the original chance is really good too i'm gonna go with this one next it is victor and rolf flower bomb so oh it's really dusty <laughs> so i've got the bonbon and the flower bomb this Okay, I keep this on display because I think the bottle is the cutest thing in the world. It's like a little grenade. But in all honesty, I know some people are gonna not agree with this, but I don't really get the hype about this perfume. It smells really good, like really good. And when I wear it, people always compliment me on it or say, you're wearing flower bomb, aren't you? Which is something I don't really like 
so when I wear a perfume I kind of like it to be my own perfume like I don't know I don't like to share it's really sweet you'd guess by the name it's really like floral but it's not as floral as I'd maybe hope like it kind of smells like bonbon but like a really diluted version and I've only just realized that I think I prefer bonbon to this yeah the problem that I have with this or the main problem is that it lasts literally like two hours on my skin and then it's gone and then I need to put more on and it's so expensive like I haven't got the money to be repurchasing this every couple of months when I run out because I'm constantly having to spray it on myself I just wish it lasted longer and smelled a little bit stronger on me I have my Chanel Coco Mademoiselle the box on there but I don't actually keep it there because my sisters both like to steal my favourite perfume so I hide my two favourites so apart from the Gucci 2 my top two perfumes are the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle that goes in that box this is the bottle I love this perfume so much again I don't need to tell you what this smells like because you've most probably got it or you've smelled it before I feel like everyone smells this it makes me feel like a grown-up but it's really sweet and florally and musky at the same time everyone knows what this smells like what am I talking about it's the cutest bottle I wish I could have it on display without it being pinched and then I looked in my box not long ago and it had gone down and I was livid so now I have to hide it <laughs> but yeah so so good if I had to choose between any of the Chanel perfumes I would definitely choose this one over any of the chances or even the Chanel Coco is really nice, like the one that's um, in the black box. But yeah, this one's definitely my favourite. It's the most girly. And last but not least at all is my all-time favourite perfume ever. I feel like this is going to be the perfume that stays with me throughout my entire life. It is the Lancome Livy S Belle. And again, I spoke about this in my favourites of last year. There's nothing bad I can say about this perfume. Not one thing. it just makes me so happy it's really really sweet so if you don't like sweet perfumes you'll probably not like this like it's sickly it's like sickly sweet this bottle is huge it's like the same size as my face <laughs> again not great at describing scents it lasts hours and hours and days and weeks on my skin like I can literally have a shower and still smell it <laughs> it's amazing so I spray all my scarves and my coats with this just literally like two sprays and then you'll put your coat on the next day and you'll be able to smell it it's just so great so great <laughs> if i would recommend any perfume for a girl to buy out of all the ones that i've spoken about this this would be the one i think i've gone through six of these all-time favorite and that is it that is all of my perfumes a really excessive amount of perfumes no one needs that many in their life i'm definitely going to have a clear out because this has made me realize that i maybe have a problem <laughs> so yeah hopefully you enjoyed seeing the perfumes that i own ending videos is my least favorite thing to do in the world so hopefully you found this not extremely boring hopefully it wasn't five hours long i'll see you in the next one Bye.